In this video, I will be talking about the Monk and the recent changes in the 2.0.6 patch. Um, as you can tell right here, looking at the 6 set, after using Dashing Strike, you release lightning at all nearby enemies for 3000% weapon damage. Now, originally when this came out, the lightning damage on your gear was not affecting it, but there was a hotfix uh, that should be applied soon, or it's already applied, I'm not sure. On the forums it says it's still an upcoming hotfix. Uh, but right now, with Dashing Strike, you crit rounds. I, well, I'm critting around 80 to 120 million. Um, so first I'm just going to go over the gear. Obviously you need at least five pieces of the raiment of a thousand storms with the, <coughs> the Ring of Royal Grandeur. If you don't have the ring, obviously you're going to need the six pieces. So for me, right now I have my Thunder Fury, um, just percent damage, more damage. With this build, with the, um, the skills that I'm going to be using, attack speed doesn't really matter, but right now my, my Odyssey's on, the, on, my, on my other monks, and I've just been using this because of the resource cost reduction, which I don't think I really need for this, so maybe having a heavier hitting weapon will work out better for you. Which brings up the point, I might want to try out that two-hander set that the monks have. But anyway, right now I'm using this Wong Kim Lao because it has the 25% damage and the 10% resource cost reduction. Um, the boots, I have movement speed with my main resist, lightning resistance, lightning resistance on the pants, thunder gods, all resistance, and lightning resistance, lightning resistance on the chest. Uh, unfortunately, these uh, I'll go over that later. But this one, you can't get all, you can't get light, lightning resistance on the shoulders because they have to roll all resistance. So um, ideally, I'm trying to get some new shoulders also without sweeping wind because I don't have sweeping wind. My gloves, trying to get lightning resistance on them. Cadella has not been very nice to me with those. Um, Stone of Jordan, obvious. Elite damage, lightning skills, gonna need the crit chance on that. Uh, crit chance on the ring, attack speed not ideal, uh, my ring's not ideal, no main, re no secondary resistance, not a trifecta, etc. I use the all guilds for my other set bonus just because uh, I like the reduced damage from elites that monks really need because we don't have that much mitigation um, due to dexterity being dodged. And, I don't know. Hopefully that'll be fixed in the 2.1 patch. Um, also trying to get my secondary resistance on these, but at 120 blues per craft, it's been not too nice to me. Um, and then just an amulet with high elemental damage, good chance, good damage. Uh, obviously, still want to get my secondary resistance on that. I'm doing T5 with 1400 all resistance and 10,000 armor, and sometimes I still do die. Monk's mitigation is just terrible. Um, okay, so skills. Skills, um, you don't necessarily need a primary if you have enough cooldown reduction on your gear, but that's a different route. So I'm just using a primary just to supplement when I actually do run out of spirit, which is not that often. And I'm just using Hands of Lightning because it's the lightning rune and it's a lightning build. Now, one of the main parts of the build is Exploding Palm with Strong Spirit because you cast this on a few enemies and then what you're gonna do is dashing strike and kill them all and it'll refill your spirit and you can keep doing that. Um, I'm using the flying sidekick for the stun because again I need as much mid help mitigating the damage so stunning them allows me to heal. Mantra healing, mitigation, I mean you could try overall with, I don't know, with rune of your choice um, I just like this one better because I like surviving more than uh, just dealing flat out damage. Cyclone Strike, I'm still iffy on this, but it works with the build because you pull everything around you. Exploding Palm, they all die. You get a lot more spirit with it, but... And the reason I have Implosion is because it pulls a lot more enemies in. Um, Inner Sanctuary with Forbidden Palace, 30% increased damage. You cast this on any elite so that when one of them dies, they all pretty much die. Uh, one with everything. Uh, season initiative, duh. You kind of need, need these two as a monk. Momentum, they actually buffed it now. They increased the duration and the damage it goes. So with Dashing Strike, you pretty much always have 20% more damage. 
Now, near-death experience, I just use it on when I'm solo because, again, monks need as much health as they can get. But in groups, I would actually say use unity because that's, again, another 20% or 15, yeah, 20% more, maybe 15, um, extra damage for you at all times and 5% for each of the other party members. Um, if you need more help, your team needs more help surviving, then I recommend resolve. Um, also, I still don't have a jawbreaker. I know the jawbreaker, what jawbreaker does for your weapon, uh, if you dash a certain yards away from you and you hit an enemy, dashing strike does not uh, cost a charge. So you can keep dash, 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 and you know each one of those is like 100 mil every time. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this build in action. So here we go. Palm, palm, kind of cyclone strike, I'm dashing strike, boom. And it's T5. So, let's see. I'm going to try and find an elite for you. And see, momentum is pretty much always up. You don't even need a dashing strike to keep it up, which is pretty nice. I'll show you my paragon after. So, that, that, you know, dashing strike, that, whatever. Alright, here we go. Palm, palm, palm. Interesting strike. Dash. Oops. Dash. Okay. Enough work. Dash. Dash. And everything's pretty much dead. And then your spirit just keeps going back up. That one wasn't as fluid because of vortex. Let's see another. Um, you could use the Flesh is Weak if you get the cooldown reduction and run Epiphany instead of Cyclone Strike. I've seen some other people do it and it works pretty well. Um, I just don't like having cooldowns to rely on. I'm the only cooldown in my build is Inner Sanctuary, but usually it's up by the next time I find an Elite unless it's a really densely packed Rift. Um, Let's see this on the goblin. You get him in a kind of a corner and then you put in your sanctuary on, so it always takes 30% more damage. And boom, see that 100 millicrit right there. Um, what else did I want to say? Just seeing that, and your spirit's like almost always full. Oh, yeah, cooldowns. Um, the only other cooldown I have on mine is Dashing Strike, which isn't really a cooldown because cooldown reduction doesn't affect it in the first place. So if you really want to spam Dashing Strike like this, you're going to have to have the Daryl Breaker. Because if you keep dashing at a certain distance away from you, it doesn't cost anything. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Um, just one more Elite so you can see, and then... That's the build. I haven't named the build. Obviously, it's just dashing strike build. I don't know. Alright. Can't find anything. But there it is. Thanks for watching.